Hi guys, I'm Karina, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making a delicious banana waffle recipe. I love this recipe because it is gluten-free, it's sugar-free, and it's flour-free. There's lots of healthy fats and proteins from the eggs and the bananas. There is a little bit of sugar in it though, so it's still a treat, but it's a great way to get your kids to start eating more fruit or even more fruit in your own diet. If you like the sound of that, you might want to check out my first ebook. It's a free ebook where I share three waffle recipes that have lots of vegetables or fruits in them. There's an apple pie waffle, a carrot cake waffle, and a red velvet waffle made with beetroot. And I promise you won't be able to taste the beetroot. Start by adding 100 grams of oats. Now add one tablespoon of olive oil. Add one fourth teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of cinnamon. Optionally, you can add one teaspoon of ground cardamom. 100 milliliters of water. Two medium overripe bananas. That should be about 200 grams of bananas without the peel. But if it's a little bit more, don't worry about it. Crack the eggs one at a time into a separate bowl. You'll want to avoid any eggshells getting in the mixture or even worse, rotten eggs. Now it's time for us to blend. You can use your stand mixer, your hand mixer, your mini blender or your blender for this. All you want is for the whole mixture to get to a smooth consistency. Set your mixture aside for about 10 minutes. Heat up your waffle iron in the meantime. Once your waffle iron is nice and hot, add a little bit of cooking spray or non-stick spray to the waffle iron. Spoon on the mixture and bake according to your waffle iron's instructions. Once your waffle is cooked to perfection, remove from the waffle iron and either let cool or serve immediately. Continue making waffles until there's no more batter left. In between making waffles, stir your batter and make sure to apply more cooking spray. It's time to add some toppings. You can add whatever you like, but here's one of my favorite topping combinations. First, I'm gonna add a nice teaspoonful of Greek yogurt. Now let's sprinkle on some pecan nuts. I'm gonna add some delicious dark chocolate chocolate chips. A little bit of bee pollen. I've got some freeze dried strawberries for a pop of color. And I'm going to be a little bit naughty and put some maple syrup on it too. Alright guys, we finally got our banana waffles ready. Approved. Thank you so much for joining me on this banana waffle video today. If you like this video, click the like button. Maybe you want to subscribe for more videos or leave a comment down below to let me know what you thought. Until next time, happy cooking and thank you for watching In Korean's Kitchen.